Yo, people, fam. What we telling them? It's your boy, Jazz, my line, Jazz, or MOC and Jazz in the building. Right now, we got the truth behind Deji versus Alex Wasabi show Starblood. Now, someone asked me to react to this. I can't remember who it was exactly, but he's on the second channel and them thing there, fam. You know what I'm saying? But let's get into it, fam. Let's check it out, blood. The fight's what? March 5th, blood? This Saturday or whatever, fam? Let's see, man. The revolution will be live. live. Now, if you don't know, YouTubers are having another boxing match, fam. It's basically like a a US, a UK US thing Redemption again, fam. You know what I'm saying? Many meanings, each unique to an individual's <clears throat> journey. With a stained reputation, Deji Olatunji strives to leave earlier. It's Olatunji, not Tanji. And most importantly, his former self in the past. He looks hella skinny now, though. He's lost bare weight, fam. Coming off two losses, the YouTube sensation aims to reclaim glory and redemption in the boxing ring as he puts it all on the line. With a glorified redemption arc on the horizon for Deji and his fans, one man has plans to ruin the party. Enter Alex Wasabi. With his sights set on his own boxing glory, the veteran YouTuber will stop at nothing to- Bro, I found that Alex Wasabi is 31, blood. You're telling me this, this guy does not look 31, fam. I thought he was in like his 20s, blood. Come to find out yesterday, the guy's literally 31, bro. I was like, what the hell? With his sights set on his own boxing glory, the veteran YouTuber will stop at nothing to prove everyone wrong by disrupting any chance Deji has of redeeming himself. For Alex, there's seemingly nothing to lose, but so much to gain. The young creator will give every ounce of blood, sweat, and- Did you say the young creator? I mean, 31 is still young, blood, but he's not young. Years, you know what I'm saying? Preparing to step into the bright lights of <clears throat> London for the first time. He goes aside, and as the world watches, we will either see the Cinderella redemption story or the biggest upset the YouTube boxing scene has ever witnessed. Lights out. I thought that was a like, Domino's hey, bag for a minute, mm. but I thought this guy was out here delivering pizza, but, blood. The hell? Everything's a target. Mm. Canelo, when he hit Callum Smith, he made his bicep like a balloon, man. Mm. Just by hitting the bicep continuously. So he couldn't counter him with that hook. That's it. There we go. When you open up, you open up with bad intentions. <laughs> Preparation for Deji, as I said, from day one when he walked in to the gym and we first started, I said, you know, boxing ain't a game. It's not something to play with. You can die in this sport. And I'm going to treat you the same as I train my professional fighters. Deji needs, a, Deji, need, what Deji needs a good team around him. And from what I've seen from this guy so far, blood, you know, he seems like, he seems legit, blood, you know what I mean? Roll, seems roll, legit, blood. roll, roll, hit, boom. Ah, ah. There we go. My name Man is like. Daly Perales and I'm Deji's professional boxing coach. I see Jack. Jack. Good. Double Jack. Huh. Hey. Hey. Two on the guy Man looks late. good, man. He just crumbles under pressure, man. Hands. On a different oh. thing, fam. So in my training camp, I have Daly. He's my boxing coach. I have Calvin. He's my SNC coach. And I have uh, Mike. He does my physio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... That's just to change the, the hell, blood. Yeah, yeah. This guy's wearing the kung fu loafers, fam. Yeah, yeah. Say that's less, blood. That's just to change the. If you're in front of them like this, yeah, you don't stay flat footed all the time. My boxing IQ is way better than my last fights. Before I was kind of just throwing my my hands, seeing. If you say so. And now I. Uh, seeing is believing, man. At this point, blood. Seeing is believing. But turn that shoulder as you slip. Okay. Yeah. As you stick, turn that shoulder. There we go. The, his mindset has definitely changed. He's saying things like we were doing conditioning yesterday. He, he and he was saying, let's do another round mm. of conditioning. Come on. That was like music to my ears. I'm Come like, on. okay. I like I like when a fighter says that. Let's go again. Let's do another round, even though we're meant to be finished. He's saying, let's go again. That's showing me something. You know, that's showing Don't me you. that he what he wants or he wants it. As I said, he's he's his energy is different now. He's more confident. Okay. 
Okay. There we go. There we go. That's it. That's it. You know, Deji got hit, right? In sparring against his brother, KSI. He got hit. Yeah. Low blow. Full blown punch. The old Deji would have took a knee to recover. Mm -hmm. He didn't go down. He just continued and dogged it out toe to toe with his brother. And so that spa there showed me that he's he's ready and he's ready for war. I see you. Right? Like, yeah. I see you. Come on, man. That's not what we're here to do. Like, just fucking give him his rounds. With his YouTube yeah. and... boxing debut. Oh, I didn't realize this. So they're showing both sides, man. I thought this was just like Deji's Boom. side. Okay. Yeah. I feel the gravity you. of the situation He's rising. Hard, like, Alex has hired who he believes to be How many the best is this to meet the challenge. 1.2 mil. I'm going to definitely be doing that. <laughs> Alex walked into the gym one day and uh, said he wanted to learn how to box. And, um, uh, my guy Tony, I was told yeah. my guy Tony, that's all you, man. Yeah, He's good. wants to learn how to box, and uh, he, Tony told me you were a YouTube guy, so I was like, all right, have at it, man. Train this guy for YouTube, because <laughs> at that point, YouTube boxing was like foreign to me. I didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was like some backyard brawling or something with these guys just on you. YouTube boxing. Uh, I didn't realize the magnitude of what it was. We give big drama show. What are you telling me? This guy's a clout demon, fam. Say less, man. Man let said, hey, yo, passed him over to my man. Then when he realized the magnitude, then he was like, oh, no, I'll take him, actually. Bring him back over here type of thing. So man's a clout demon. Thing. Say less. Uh, I didn't realize the Say magnitude less. of what it was. We give big drama show. Yeah. <laughs> my name is Ramon Espada. I'm a boxing trainer slash coach. Relax. Stay ready. Keep your eyes open. Your eyes are your defense, right? Yeah. yeah. Nice and relaxed. Already from what I've seen, Deji has this, man. From what I've seen, Deji should have... And from what I'm hearing as well, blood, because I'm not just hearing, seeing things from Deji, blood. I'm hearing the coaches say things that we all needed to hear type of thing, fam. You know what I'm saying, blood? Deji, blood, as long as Deji says teed, fam, Deji realistically could have won every single fight he's actually been in, fam. The Jake Paul could have won it. His last fight could have won it. This one, he should be winning it as well, blood. As long as he stayed teed, blood, you know what I'm saying, blood, and he concentrates on the goal ahead, fam, he'll... Bro, he'll yeah, he'll tear man like Alex Wasabi a new one, fam. No cut. No cut. He should have been doing that already, blood. You know what I mean? Four years ago, he looked he looked like a beginner. So <laughs> you could see the yeah, video for yourself. Like a pretty boy, his, man. his movement was really awkward. Uh, just like anybody just learning the like. sport. Um, but he took to it pretty quickly. And um, his punches flow and everything now. And he throws great combinations and has a better understanding of positioning and, and things of that nature and and is really uh, good at reading uh, things defensively so he's he's nowhere near where he was four years ago he, he actually looks like a real oh four years ago damn sell us still posing after I can feel it. When Alex approached me for this fight camp, he said, I don't want to go into boxing like a YouTuber. I want to train like a professional fighter. And I want a professional fight camp. And so that's when we started looking at all the ways we can really tighten things up and maximize our camp to really train like a pro. <laughs> The squared circle has always been known to be a lonely place. Fans don't matter, fame is irrelevant, but ultimately, only the hard work put in will decide the outcome on fight. Yeah, I can never doubt myself, I know better. All of you critics be acting like you know better. Blowing the smoke, but I know when the dust settles. So I'm in my element, it's evident that this level's to the game. All of those dark nights I got then breaking my back to make it out, got me feeling like pain. I ain't never need your help. I know you wishing me well. A penny for your thoughts, but seeing no change. Snap for the sun. Like the riches got a well, mad at son. I'm like Billy. I ain't never switch up. Whole team with me. But known for my city like oh ages. Set the pace as long as you finish. Get supers find a way inside your business. Fabulous, they try to dabble in it and they hate the fact that they may have to witness. You try to aim for the top like this and you're in your element with a fire like this. And they hope you fall in the train you miss with a solid.
With a feud spanning through the years, the bad blood that carries this fight is evident for all to see. But he's man of history, Matsin. In Deji's eyes, all Wasabi wants more than anything is to reclaim his former glory in the online scene. On the other side, burying a return to Alex's former heyday is in Deji's mind as he prepares to step in the ring once again. I guess it started from JJ asking Alex for a spa because uh, I think JJ put out like an open challenge for people and Alex Wasabi was one of the people that wanted to spa JJ. Alex Wasabi called me out. Now everyone knows that you ain't shit. Also, for the record, he never DM'd me. He never sent his possible details. This boy is a fucking pussy. I guess JJ gave him like a platform to be, to like, you know, step up to the table. And obviously he, uh, he, he didn't take it. He uh, was making excuses. I got involved by calling him like, basically calling him a pussy. I guess that's how it really started. With this fight seeming inevitable, someone got involved in his brother's battles, basically, fam. You know, inevitable. Yeah. It was only a matter of time before contracts really were need to. signed. Me and Deji have a lot of history. We we go back we, we go back a few years. I've only met him once in my life. Someone I want to put out there, Alex Wasabi. I'm down to fight you. I'm down to fuck your face up. I'm making a mistake, bro. Trust me. Huge mistake. Bro, you would do shit to me. But yeah. if I had to pick somebody, I want to box as Deji. I want to box Deji so bad. Mm. We've been like, I, I think, I think that'd be a good fight. Uh, if I have to fight Alex, he's just a waste man. I'm here to redeem myself, and that's the plan. Alex claims Deji's never had to work for anything in his entire life. He plans to capitalize on this mindset and expose the inner quitter he claims mm. Deji to be. It's mm. like I said in a previous the interview. Mind games I'm, I'm and them things. I'm a part of the spot. A little oh my, what is? Or I'm dealing with a man with a kid's mentality. He is all about shortcuts. He uh, does the minimum. Like I know his nickname is the tank, but in my head, his nickname is the minimum. That, that's his, that's what he does. His whole life is a shortcut. It makes me want to prove him wrong. It makes me, it makes me want to take it all back. I yeah, I feel like this is what was needed from the start, you know, fam. I mean, this was kind of there with the Jake Paul thing, the brother versus brother thing. The story was there from the mentality of, yo, I really actually need to, you know, I say, prove to the people them, that I can really do this. And with the, uh, what do you call it, with the Jake Paul thing, he put his best effort out there, but he just came short, fam. I think that one, we kind of like let it slide type of thing, fam. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it was a second fight, the recent one with the YouTube TikTok thing, where it was like, yo, did you? We're like, come on now, fam. Like, you disappointed the guys type of thing, fam. You know what I'm saying? That is when people really started to get onto him. But here, there's a, you know I said? There's a history, blood. Both people feel a certain type of way about each other, blood. You know what I mean? From their go queer back and them too. I feel like this is what was needed from. So hopefully, you know I said? Like, bruv, the, the man that you're literally about to punch up in the face is literally calling you a man with a boy's mentality, fam. Like, you know what I'm saying, blood? Like, come on now, blood. You have something to prove here, blood. There's a story here, fam. This fight, there's motivation in multiple ways, fam. If it wasn't for his brother, KSI, I would have never had this opportunity to box. And if it wasn't for his brother KSI, well, Deji wouldn't have anything. I believe, uh, obviously, it's easy to talk about someone's life from like an outside, outside perspective, but he hasn't lived my life. He uh, definitely has underestimated me. I mean, can you blame him though? From what Deji's shown, you know what I'm saying? Especially in this boxing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, realm and them thing there, fam. Can you blame him, blood? Like everything Alex Wasabi was saying, fam. I didn't disagree with it, blood, because we've all seen it firsthand how Deji can be type of thing, fam. You know what I'm saying? So what you're going to have to do is prove him wrong. But at the moment, low key, he is right with what he's saying, fam. True you know strength I mean? comes from an unshakable inner belief. And for Alex Wasabi, being overlooked in his boxing journey has made this an integral foundation for his road. What the hell is this gym called? Journey Loose Goose. Oh, 10 Goose Boxing, I'm oh, sorry. It's an integral <laughs> foundation for his road to the ring. Yo, I don't know why I saw Loose With Goose. all of the talk being showcased online, it's the work you don't see that will ultimately decide this battle. I'm treating this as like life or death. Like I am training hard. I am training. There, Of course, there's times I don't want to go to the gym. There's times I don't want to spar, but I do it anyways. It's just something, I'm treating it like breathing. It's just something you have to do. 
What the hell is that from? One thing I think people don't realize about Alex is his competitive edge. That guy really wants to win. Not gonna lie. And find, I need a toilet real find a way to make sure that he is the best at everything he does. You think, oh, your body can only do so much. And so when your body tells you to stop, you gotta stop. But that's not true. Your mind is telling you to stop. Your body can do a lot more than you think. Alex said it perfectly. I saw his interview that he was talking to and he said, look, I'm not a professional fighter, but I want to go in with the best intention that I can. I want to go in the ring with another warrior. So if Deji doesn't get his shit together and doesn't train hard, I'm not going to be able to create an amazing fight. Come fight night, I'm looking for Alex to execute everything we've been working on. Show this guy some things he hasn't seen before. Uh, shut down all of uh, Deji's offense and light him up when the opportunity presents itself. We've just been putting him into this full force fight camp as if he was a professional boxer. So really, I think March 5th is going to be the easy part. Alex has yeah. the skills, he has the tools that he needs to win. Deji's just going to have a difficult night. Like your mind tells you to stop and your, and your body tells you to stop and you have to not listen to these two things you've been listening to your entire life. You have to push through and be like, no, 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 guys. We got this, guys, come on, let's work together. Let's push through and keep going, keep going, keep going. I've said that in my head so many times these last six months. As soon as I get in the ring, it clicks and I'm like, okay, let's go. Then when I'm done, I'm excited that I did it. And I'm excited that I got the workout in. I'm excited to go to the track. I'm excited to, to push myself. As Mentality-wise, I, I feel like Alex Usabi Loki, to an extent, has it kind of figured out? Because most times when people go into the thing, they have the skill in them thing there, but they don't realize that the mind is a big part of it, fam. To me, it seems like, you know what I'm saying? He has, he has a good edge type of thing, fam. You get me? Because he realizes what he's getting himself into type of thing. Some people kind of don't have that realization, but it seems like he's clocked on pretty, pretty early even though he's been doing this for four years, but I'm pretty sure this is his first fight, if I'm not mistaken. I want to see what I can do. I, want, I, I don't even know. I've never pushed myself this hard. In his past fights, Deji's camps have always been criticized as a major factor in the losses he's received. Coming into this redemption fight, Deji knew choosing the right camp was integral to his success. However, in a controversial move, the young star made a personal change, claiming he wasn't being challenged enough to complete the task before him. Deji has come into this camp. He's seen Kenny, he's seen my pro fighters. He's actually come to watch um, my pro fighters fight live. You know, he's seen what it's all about. And I think that's why we're seeing a whole new Deji now. And that's why when we push him in the gym, you're not seeing no quit because he's, he, He's happy, he's comfortable, you know what I mean? So he's willing to do everything I tell him to do. It's just, it's just uh, body mechanics, because once you turn there, the mechanics is there. Yeah. If you turn there, boom. Coming six weeks out, I think it's a good thing, man. You know, a lot of people are seeing it as a bad thing. I see it as a good thing, man, because Kenny has helped push him as well. You know, oh, when Kenny one is well, slacking the other. Yo, Kenny was the last person I expected to fight, you know. When I first laid my eyes on Kenny, first saw him in the Better Squad video, I was like, nah, Kenny just looks like a general, just nice guy, not causing no trouble type of thing. He was the last person out of the Better Squad members I was expecting to see in a fight fam, and here he is, blood. You get me? That Yeah, that's that one's me. like, come on. But his brother obviously is in this industry, blood. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, it makes sense, Come man. on, it's in the blood. keep going. When the other one's doing the same, the other one's saying the same thing. He fights it up. He's good as well, so. When they lose, what excuse are they going to have? Because they've had the longest time together. I've only had six weeks with Deji. So when Deji pulls this off, you know, Deji's going to look like a goat. You know what I mean? Wasabi loses, they can't have no excuses, man. One word has been said by many, including Deji, as being one of the biggest aspects and in consequence, a key factor in his previous losses. Cardio. Yeah. 
Same thing with the if first fight. If you're 0 2, how are you going to get a main event? How, how, how did you get a main event if you lost your last few fights? Oh, I forgot. Your brother. Nice. Well, I, it helped me out, so I'm not going to complain. I'm excited for both of us. In my first fight, I was very,、uh, I guess, I didn't really care about losing as much. Obviously, it was like an experience. I was like, Screw it.、Um, let, me, let me just do it. Let's see what happens. I remember the first and second fight. Oh! You, you got... Hey, your dad made an appearance! I have not seen g d a y in such a long time, bro. I have not seen g d a y in such a long time, bro. Oh, my day. Shout out Deji and KSI's dad for him. Shout out Nyinka as well, bro. And Tionku. You know what I'm saying? I haven't seen him in time, bro. God, he was shocked. He just couldn't. He said he couldn't move. And people. You know,、um, shouting his name. The best way to yeah, explain it. That's what I'm saying. His mindset seems better now, fam. But as I said, we're not just seeing it from him, we're seeing it from his coaches as well in certain things changing. So the fact that we're having a whole nother person actually kind of like vouch for him as well. But either way, at this point, he's still a s e e n of believing his thing. You're going to have to prove it to us, blood. But going into it, yeah. I am a tiny bit more confident. You know what I'm、uh, saying? Because his mindset is what's not been there,、oh. bro, you know what I'm saying? You're in a bubble on your own, and then there's a bunch of. So, hopefully, around, man. Hopefully, bro. Hopefully. You can get his shit together, man.、And、that's the best way I can really explain it. Because、uh, ultimately, you're in there alone. Like, obviously, yeah, you have the crowd to back you up. You got your corner. But you don't hear any of that. Once you're in that ring and you hear the bell and your opponent coming towards you, it's like just silence. But the second fight is so obvious. He wasn't training, he wasn't doing anything. As much as I don't like saying this, I needed to lose my last fight for me to really wake up. Hopefully, I have your little e d i u blood. The thing is, if he loses this one, whether it's because of his horn, his own, his horn, <laughs> why am I speaking like a Nigerian? Because <laughs> if, if it's because of his own demise or Alex or Sabi is just genuinely a better boxing, like whatever the reason is, no matter the reason why he loses, blood, you gotta hang it up, man. I don't care. I do not care, blood. Whatever the reason is, blood, you just gotta hang it up. You got to, blood. You can't come back, man. Lose. You can't come back. He didn't train. To him, say, w e l、well, l I can fight. He never trained. He was meant to be doing his runs. Even the second fight, he was meant to be doing the runs and whatever. They were coming to him, they were, let's run. He didn't, he didn't train. He's now more matured. More matured. And I mean, the strength too. I think it's,、um, because the, his problem is always his stamina. I lost twice by the same thing my cardio. My cardio failed me twice. Like normally after a loss, Kind of understand what went wrong. I didn't. I literally went into my second fight worse. So that's why I understand why they're like, okay, yeah, he's a.、Uh, there's no point. Ultimately, like,、uh, I want to I want to get them the win. That's what I want to do. But the ones who kind of lost hope, I'll get that hope back.、Hmm. I hope so, b r o t All Alex、so. ever wanted was a chance. A chance to be taken seriously. A chance for respect. But just like the roll of a dice, chance is an unpredictable variable, which will only be solved within the lonely ropes on March 5th. I expected a lot of work.、Uh, but what I didn't expect is the emotional journey. It's a roller coaster, back and forth. It's like confident, not confident. What am I doing? Oh, let's do this. I'm gonna destroy him. Oh man, ah da da. What am I? Oh, I'm tired today. Oh, I hurt my, I got an injury. Oh no, I gotta fix that. Recovery. Oh, this cryo, three minutes. It's so cold. Ice bath. Oh no. I love pushing myself, but it's crazy, like mentally, what you go through, what real life professional boxers go through for their entire lives. It's Insane. So Alex kind of approached me like years ago, just saying like how badly he wanted to get a fight. He's like always talking about like, man, I really just want to fight. And I think he only understood the physical aspect of what a fight entailed. And as we got closer, and I recommended certain people to be around him and how hard he should be training or what he really needs to do, I don't think he really understood till now. I, I am just as tired mentally as I am physically. 
going through this, pushing myself through this, getting punched by like guys 20 pounds heavier than me, professionals that have been doing this forever. It's just like, woo! It's I, I feel I can feel the growth I'm going through. I'm growing more in these. I've grown more in these last six months than I have in the last five years just by pushing myself. I've always respected boxers. I've respected any professional athlete, but people told me uh, when I was starting that boxing is one of the hardest sports to do. What Bungie. you put your body through, boxing is no joke. And that's what Alex is really after, is that I, I can totally admire that about him, is he's really trying to make a beautiful moment right now for himself. In history, he wants to look back and tell his story, and this is going to be one of the the main pieces of his story of how he became the next evolution of Alex. I'm really excited to see that part of him. Progress is impossible without change. A recent hiatus from the public eye has given Deji a new perspective on life and his future in boxing. You could say a new Deji has been born. I have seen a change Nika. eating wise. You know what I'm saying, Blue? Shout out, bro. Shout out, Blue. Celebrity parents right here, Blue. And the fact that he's... She's not selling it as well, fam. Bro, the whole family has really... KS has out here again, and I can't even lie to you, Blood. <laughs> you get me? But the dad, obviously, uh, uncle, auntie, and then Deji as well. From them, and I've lost, like, a considerable amount of weight, Blood. I look at Deji in the his previous fight with Jet Paul, the clips that you just saw compared to now, fam. I look slim, slim, Blood. They all do. the weight... That is amazing. I was shocked. I said, this guy is really taking it serious. So I think he is ready. I, I feel it in my bones that he is ready. He said he wants, because even with the previous one, I said, don't underestimate Vinny Haka. And you need to lose the weight, Deji. You need to lose the weight. You didn't I'm listen. 100% all compliment. Because I've actually been putting the work in. I go past limits, like when I'm even like running, boxing, when someone's getting the better of me, I get voices in my head being like, just quit, just back out, make an excuse. But and then I overshadow that voice by being like, nah, no, I'm, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go to the end and see what happens. Deep down in your heart, you just know that he was going for this fight that, oh my gosh, something's not, something was not right. But with this one, you know, he feels more confident and everything. For him to say that, Mom, I can't wait to fight. It's all to do with the mindset as well. Exactly, bro. His mindset has changed. Exactly, bro. Oh, he's changed now, you know. Now, I mean, I'm not a betting man, but I can bet my house on him that he will win because the change is, is so much now. I mean, I can see the confidence coming back gradually. But to take this seriously, you know, I think I'm very, very proud of him. I mean, he's putting a lot of effort into it now. He's, he's, I think he's doing it for himself. This guy, you know, this guy doesn't care. He doesn't care what people say about him, what people think about him. He just doesn't care. So, but now for him to change now, maybe it's maturity or whatever, so. Maybe it's I, the boxing, man. I'm telling you, blood. When you have a purpose in life and you go through something that you've never been through before, you're actually being challenged in all aspects, physically, mentally, emotionally, it changes you, blood. You know what I'm saying, blood? That's why it's when you see like all these boxers or professional athletes at such a young age, you have such a mature mindset because of what they've been through, blood. But they've had to overcome from it's the boxing, it's the sport, man. It mans you up, blood. So for now, for him to change now, maybe it's maturity or whatever. So I can see him <clears> winning <throat> this time around. Well, yeah, listen, man. So in difference in the air this time, man. I'm hoping so anyway, from you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm hoping so. When searching for I'm answers so. for Deji's sudden shift in mindset, we have to explore what could be argued as one of Deji's biggest inspirations. His family. Mm -mm. I feel you. Didi and I, the way we've raised them, we've raised them to be bold and courageous. As his brother said, if he puts in the hard work and he pushes himself to the limit, Deji can do it. It's the words that we nail into them that winners don't quit. Remember, you guys always do things together. Mm. And that's when you were a baby. That's Look me. at you posing there. I'm a gangster. With your <laughs> I'm a gangster. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, and that's the sports day. Oh yeah, this is when I, this is when I won. Yeah, and you were so excited. 
And as you can see, most of the time, they're, they're always together. And Deji loves his bro. You can see he's always hugging his bro. <laughs> they kind of... Deji, move your hand, man. Come on now, my guy. Move your hand, bro. Really like, connected and... Um, Ain't that type of connection, my guy. They were natural. That's the thing. And they were always making you laugh. They were very funny. So I kind of... I do enjoy them. I really... if they, It would be nice if they can collab together again, you know, and see what they... I mean, they were younger when they did it. So it would be nice now that they're men and see if they've still got that um, click. I do see Jay as an inspiration as well as uh, I do see something to like uh, meet. This whole YouTube thing, I started it because of him. Like, uh, we both started at the same time, but then I stopped, but he carried on. And then just seeing what he's achieved made me want to be like, let me come back. JJ is ultimately the reason why I'm even here. Like, this whole YouTube boxing, everything. So, to, to get a win, and to, for him to run in the ring, and just be super happy. Yeah, that'll, that'll, be, that'll be a dream come true, if I'm being honest. Now, obviously, we've had our differences, but... Him being proud is next level. Yeah. But uh, uh, with the uh, biggest uh, challenge looming on the ever closing horizon. Bro, this guy has, Legi has so many aspects on to why he needs to win this blood. So many different reasons to why he needs to actually complete this blood. So I don't even give a shit if Alex Wasabi comes out looking like Floyd Mayweather blood. You need to complete that blood and get that W blood. There's so many reasons why I mean, he needs Rising. to get this win, man. The question to be asked Rev. from both fighters is have they done enough to earn their hand raised come March 5th? I'm not going to underestimate him. I don't know what, what he's going to bring to the table, but I know my power and I know I have knockout power. When he loses, he's 100% once again not going to take accountability and he's going to blame it on his team. Deji, all these years, he's just been talking and talking and so much talking. I'm going to want to put him in the deep end, see how he handles it. Let's go. All right, get your tickets. It's game time. Hey, hopefully you man enjoyed that one, blood. I'll definitely be watching the boxing match with my friends and them thing there. Um, one of my friends is a boxer as well, blood. So it'd be good having him as well in the party and them thing there, blood. While we watch it and them thing there, get his analysis and all of them thing there. You get me? Um, but yeah, hopefully you man enjoyed that one, blood. I'm definitely intrigued to see this one right here. And this is the only fight as well where Deji's opponent is kind of used the he has a boy's mentality, fam. He doesn't like to work kind of thing. So if Deji actually gets a double, you improves this guy wrong. Fam, that's that, that's gonna be big, fam. You know what I'm saying? But hopefully you man enjoyed. It's been your boy in Jazz MLC in Jazz or man like Jazz in a building um shout out deji shout out to um shout out to uh what do you call it uncle jide and auntie yinka as well blood. you know what i'm saying it's been a while since i've seen them man and i uh, catch you man the next one it's your boy jazz and i'm out here family bath the bath the bath the bath the bath the bar i'm too persistent with in comment no cares get it on my own no collab but a bar with me that's a body bag your man's want smoke then he leaves with a toe tag whole squad hit with a double mag glock got left in the street and the body's getting chucked bullets with names and your shit's getting popped bad be with me and the bag's getting caught still got it Chase the bag, humble Ain't got a brag in a league of my own And my stats getting flagged Hit me for the feet, got verses in stats Come through like the queen, gotta pay that tax